Hey guys, Django here and welcome to How To Be Pro Recon Episode 2. Recon tip number 1, sidearms. If you're struggling on the battlefield because you don't have a good sidearm then this is the type tip for you. M1911, you gotta admit, it does look pretty cool. But is that good enough even though it looks cool? Well, let me tell you, it actually is. If you're a decent player, go with this gun because you can actually kill an enemy with only 3 shots which is pretty good but there are better pistols which I'm going to mention right now. The 193R and G G18 are great for playing that aggressive recon class because they both fire at 900 rounds per minute. So those and the um, those pistols are the closest that match up to machine guns. The M9 M9 and PT P226 are amazing. I use these both a lot because they have a really high fire rate and a big magazine uh, size. So. If you're looking for a pistol you want to get some kill streaks with, go with these ones. Recon tip number two is gadgets. The PLD is pretty good for getting a lot of points because all you have to do is lock onto any vehicle and then an engineer can see that and take him out easily. Doing that you will be rewarded with a lot of points, uh, so go with that if you're looking to get ranked up a lot. The motion balls are the ones to use, don't forget these were also in Bad Company 2, one of the best games ever. Well, of his time. These are really good for clearing areas quickly because it can detect all of the enemies around its 25 meter radius for 24 seconds. And la last but not least, C4. A lot of players use uh, this because it does a it does add a big advantage to the recon class because all the player needs to do is put C4 in the vehicle without getting spotted, which is pretty easy, and then just blow up. Or you can use it for something else killing enemies probably but most of the people do it for blowing up vehicles. Using this gadget you will be rewarded with quite a lot of points because uh, getting the vehicle kills will get you um, an extra 100 points for doing that. The claymores are good as well but if you're that sniper that um, likes to move around a lot then don't go with this uh, but if you're that um, stationary sniper go with the claymores because that will be a real rat reliable gadget to use and um, because you'll just be stationary and there's likely someone that will come up behind you that will look on your kill streak. Final tip, recon tip number three is specializations. So the best specializations that I use is either the spec out specialization or the sniper specialization. Looking at the spec ops category, first off we have level one stealth undetected by motion sensors except when sprinting which is good for wanting to kill your enemy. Silently, level 2, C4 explosives increases uh, maximum inventory of C4 explosives to 6. Now that's really good for aggressive recon players. Level 3, motion sensors increases maximum inventory of motion sensors to 5 and increases range of tugs and MEV by 40%. This is good for mostly stationary snipers. Level 4, quick unspot reduces time you're spotted by 2 seconds which is not a huge difference but it's just still nice to have. Looking at the sniper category we have level 1 hold breath increases time you can steady your scope by 100%. Level 2 cover decreases amount of incoming suppression by 50% which will reduce the sway on your weapon. Level 3, quick unspot again. Level 4, advanced spot increases time your targets are spotted by 45%. So the spec up specialization is for the ag aggressive recon players and the sniper specialization is for those stationary snipers who like to shoot their targets at long ranges. 
So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, remember to leave a like down below. Uh, and leave your comments down below. I'll reply to all those comments. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always, I'll see you on the battlefield.